whether this is linked to that, I, I have no idea. It seems like it's uh, 30 years too late. That was rapper, actor, and producer Ice Cube this week on Cuomo talking about a possible break nearly three decades after the unsolved murder of rapper Tupac Shakur. Earlier this week, police searched a home near Las Vegas in connection to the 1996 murder. Officials say the home is connected to the man who says he was actually in the car when Shakur was shot near the Las Vegas Strip after leaving a Mike Tyson fight. Joining me now is filmmaker Mike Dorsey. Uh, let's bring him in. He's a uh, true crime filmmaker and a television producer. Mike, uh, thank you for joining us. I am a huge, no I'm a huge 90s hip hop head. It sounds like you are as well. You're behind a number of documentaries and specials on this murder, uh, notorious murder, one of uh, the East Coast, West Coast rap feud. Uh, that includes the documentary you made, Murder Rap, released in 2015. So let's just talk a little bit about yourself. What, what first compelled you to really start investigating these unsolved murders? Well, uh, when I first moved to L.A., I moved about a block away from the intersection where Biggie was killed there in Los Angeles. So um, already interested in the case to begin with, just being that close to it and seeing the scene um, always sparked my interest even more. And then in 2013, I came across this detective named Greg Kading, who was a retired LAPD detective, and he had led a task force investigation. Uh, into both the Biggie and Tupac murders, and he had written this book called Murder Rap. And it just seemed, reading about it and then reading the book, it just felt very real and legitimate to me. So um, that made me very interested. And then he had all of the case files, which is what we were able to access to make the film. Yeah, it sounds like you're not just a documentarian, but also an advocate. You've been consistently pushing for the resolution in this case. Obviously, this uh, broke wide open over the weekend, this news out of Las right. Vegas. Uh, the search warrant being executed. What was your take on that? How did that make you feel? And did it feel like you were getting closer to the answers you've been seeking all this time? It's definitely the most notable um, development in the case in the near 27 years that it's been going on. It can't be understated. The Las Vegas police, to my knowledge, never served any search warrants on any, anyone's house back in 1996 or went this far uh, with their investigation. So um, it can't be overstated how big of a deal this is. And uh, the detective who served the search warrant is one that I met with uh, five years ago after I consulted on the first program where this um, this person whose house they went to, Keefe D, uh, he gave his first public interview to BET back in 2018. And after that aired, I reached out to this detective and let him know about it. And we've stayed in touch ever since. And I think that really that helped reinvigorate the case. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past five years, they've been working towards this. So. Um, it's it's been a long time coming for me, and it's something that I um, never gave up on. Um, and I'm very happy to see that we might have resolution finally. Yeah, it really is great to see. Fellow West Coast rapper Ice Cube recently spoke to News Nation's Chris Cuomo about the latest developments in this case. Mike, I want to uh, play some sound for you, and then let's uh, ask you sure. about it afterwards. Take a listen. I'm pretty sure, you know, we haven't heard the, the absolute whole truth when it comes to Tupac's death. And, um, and, you know, what happened to him that night in Vegas. All right. So do you agree with Cube there? Do you think that we don't know the full story or we ever will actually know all those details? I think we do know the full story, to be perfectly honest. I think um, if, if you ask me who did it, I'll tell you it's the same person you probably thought did it as soon as you heard that it happened. And it was this uh, former or, or at the time current Compton gang member named Orlando Anderson. And he is the person that Tupac and the rest of his Death Row Records crew jumped at the MGM Grand just two hours before Tupac was shot. And Orlando Anderson was known as a, a pretty violent guy. Uh, he was suspected of several other murders. And um, this is exactly the kind of thing that it seems like he would have done in retaliation for being beaten up. So I think, um, it was pr always obvious from the beginning, but of course it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. And his uncle, who is Keefe D, coming forward and confirming this story and telling his firsthand account from being in the shooter's car of what happened, uh, to me that, I think for most people, that seals the case. Mike, we're running out of time, but I just wanna ask you one sure. final question, given you know how closely you've been watching this case and the work that you've done, you've done this for several years now. So let's talk about your, your own investigations, any notable clues that you feel like you honed in on and your team have honed in on that really helped break this case open. You mentioned talking to detectives in the past. 
Sure. The, the key piece of evidence was that uh, in 2008, they got Keefe D, who was Orlando Anderson's uncle, to um, do a proffer session where he went in and he spoke to a federal task force and he was given sort of limited immunity to tell them exactly what happened with the Tupac murder and his words couldn't be used against him. And for me, his detailed account of what happened that night, um, how they got the murder weapon, how they went and how they were able to find Tupac um, that night on the strip and follow him off the strip and commit the murder. Uh, it filled in a lot of gaps for a lot of people that had already known uh, a lot of the story, but not all of it. And I just, he was like, his his confession mm -hmm. to what his crew supposedly did was like a missing puzzle piece that made the whole puzzle come together. Really fascinating stuff, Mike. Uh, thank you very much for thank your you. time, for your efforts in this story that not only has me mm -hmm. enthralled, but so many other hip hop heads out there. We appreciate all your uh, effort out there. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.